Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lecture number 16, part number one. So we will continue our discussion on common gate amplifier today. And uh, first we will uh, have to find a small single voltage gain for the circuit shown in the figure number 16.1.A. So basically it is a common gate amplifier with a slight modification. It has an internal input, has an internal source resistance RS. Rest all it's uh, it's pretty much the same. Gate voltage has been applied the bias voltage, uh, you know, for M1 to operate in the saturation. RAD is connected to VDD as usual, and output is taken from the drain terminal. So the only addition in the circuit is the RS value. Now we all know that this uh, MOSFET M1 is suffering from body effect. That means its VSB is not equal to zero. So for this circuit, we have to determine or find the small signal voltage gain. So let us start our analysis. So first thing first. So first we will apply. Uh, I know first we will uh, draw the small signal model for this circuit, shown in the figure number sixteen point one point A. So let us start with the gate terminal. So gate terminal of the MOSFET is connected to ground because VB is the DC bias. Okay, and uh, next the source terminal it's connected to resistor RS and it's connected to VIN. So here we have source terminal, resistor RS, and VIN. Now, since M1 is suffering from body effect, uh, between the drain and source, we have GMBGS. We are considering lambda also. So here it is given. Lambda is non-zero and gamma is non-zero. Gamma non-zero means we have to consider the body effect. So between the drain and source, we have GMBGS, RO, and uh, GMBVGS connected in parallel, all three of them. And then from the drain terminal, we have register RAD going to the ground. And uh, we have the voltage connected across the drain terminal with respect to ground. So this is my small signal model of the circuit. Fine. So without further delay, we have to derive the relation between V out upon V. In. So your V out voltage is parallel to RD. So here the value of the current flowing through RD will be V out upon RD. Now we know that the current entering the terminal, I mean entering the drain terminal and leaving the drain terminal should be same. Correct. So if the if the current is leaving the drain terminal, that is V out upon RAD, the current which is entering the drain terminal also should be same, correct? So in this case, the direction will be different. So the drain current and the source current direction will be same. So over here, the drain current over here will be in this direction, right? Let me annotate it and show it to you. So let me take a color and draw it. Yeah. So uh, here also, if we say the drain current flowing in this direction, so this this direction the current is V out upon R, V out upon R D. But if we want to consider the current flowing into the terminal, into the drain terminal, then we have to write minus V out upon R D. Okay, got the point? Let me clear all the drawings. Okay, um, wait a second. Yeah. So all the drawings are cleared now. So the current uh, entering the drain terminal will be minus V out upon RS because current entering and leaving should be same. So the same current flows to the source resist, I mean the source terminal because in a MOSFET, the drain current and the source current are same. So this current minus V out upon RS flows to the source terminal, the source register RS and the V in, right? So this is what the observation is. Now let us proceed with the analysis. So first of all, we have to find the expression of uh, voltage gain V out upon V in. So what do we do is we apply the KVL to the gate source loop. So what will happen if we apply the KVL to the gate source loop? We get V in into, uh, I mean V in plus Current flowing through I, uh, RS value, that will be IRS. Current flowing is inwards, that's why plus, plus IRS into RS, plus VGS is equal to zero, correct? And what is the current flowing to RS minus V out upon RS? So we write V in minus V out upon RD, actually it should be RD, not RS, it's actually wrong. It should be RD. Let me correct it in front of you. So it's the same current flowing. So it should be V out upon RD, not RS. Let me correct it here also. Okay. If there is a mistake, we should rectify as soon as possible. Yeah. 
so what do we write over here uh, v in minus v out upon r d into r s plus v g s is equal to zero that is what we get by applying the kvl to the gate source loop so we can write v g s is equal to v g s we can take it this side and rest all the terms on the other side so v g s will be equal to v out upon r d into r s minus v in let us call this equation as 16.1.1 now what do we do is now we apply the kvl to the drain source loop so when we apply the kvl to the drain source loop what do we get we get v out this is the v out equal to v in minus v out upon r d into r s correct because uh, here this current flowing through r s will be minus v out upon r d so we write v out v out is equal to v in minus v out upon r d into r s that is the current into resistance plus r o plus r o into uh, minus v out upon r d minus g m v g s minus g m v v b s because all the three currents will be additive right the current flowing through r o will be g m v g s plus g m v v b s uh i mean the current itself is minus v out upon r d that's what we are writing right and in this case it's the current flowing its uh, you know um, away from the uh, i mean towards the source side so hence we write the current flowing through r o will be minus v out upon r d minus g m into v g s minus g m b into v b s okay so all these currents will be there kind of flowing through the register r o and that is what we get by applying the kvl to the drain source loop so again i repeat we apply the kvl to the drain source loop of this figure so what do we get v out i mean you can write v out minus all that but v out is equal to v in minus current flowing through rs into rs that will be minus v out upon rd into rs then plus okay so because the current flowing into ro we are considering to be opposite so r plus ro into minus v out upon rd minus gm into vgs minus gmb into vbs is equal to zero because current flowing flowing through ro we are considering this side let me annotate it and show it to you so we are considering the current flowing through rd in this direction so that's why uh, i mean uh, we get over here this term current flowing through rd will be this which is minus v out upon rd okay this current number 1 then we have number 2 minus gm into vgs and number 3 we have gmb into vbs okay so that is what we get now let us proceed forward now uh, what is vgs and vbs from the diagram so vgs is actually gate voltage is zero and your uh, uh, source voltage is as it is so vgs will be equal to minus vs what is vbs again in vbs the body voltage is zero and the source voltage we write it as it is so vgs and vbs are nothing but minus vs fine so now yeah let us proceed forward now so uh, in short we can say that vgs is equal to vbs fine so we simplify this we have written as it is we have clubbed the terms of gm and v gmb because vgs and uh, vbs are same so we write over here in this term Uh, in this expression, R O into minus V out upon R D minus of G M plus G M V into V G S. Fine. Now what do we do is from equation number sixteen point one point one, whatever the value of V G S is, we substitute it over here. Okay, over here. So as you can see, entire expression remains the same. V out is equal to V in minus V V out upon R D into R S plus R O into minus V out upon R D. Minus G M plus G M B into so instead of V G S we substitute from equation number sixteen point one point one which will be V out divided by R D into R S minus V in okay and now we take the L C M common as R D I mean we club the terms of V out together and V in together that's all what we do afterwards we will take the L C M so here V out term will be over here so it will be one plus R S upon R D Plus R O upon R D. Here it is. I mean, we have. Uh, if you multiply it inside, you will get R O upon R D plus R O into 
gm plus gmb into rs divided by rd so you can solve this and check it out is equal to v in into 1 plus ro into gm plus gmb okay so this ro is there then gm plus gmb uh, it's also there so that is the expression so what is v out upon v in equal to v out upon v in is equal to u to this huge expression over here right so we get in the numerator 1 plus ro into gm plus gmb in the denominator we get 1 plus rs upon rd plus ro upon rd plus ro into gm plus gmb into rs upon rd and we take rd uh, you know common uh, i mean common not we will multiply and divide by rd so what do we get uh, the voltage small signal voltage gain for the circuit given in the figure number 16.1 point a is as follows av is given by 1 plus ro into gm plus gmb into the whole into rd and divided by rd plus rs plus ro plus ro times gm plus gmb into rs okay so that's the small signal voltage gain for the circuit shown over here and remember while solving the lab number 3 avlsi lab number 3 we have got the same circuit and if you remember correctly we have used the same formula over there also okay so that's the derivation for your small signal voltage gain for the circuit given to us in question number 1 so if you have any doubt you can post your queries in the comment section okay so let us move on to the second question now so second question is uh, for the same circuit we have to determine the r out r out as the resistance looking into the drain terminal and uh, for determining r out we make v in equal to 0 that is the standard procedure right with considering lambda and body effect so what do we do is first we draw the small signal model right and uh, when we draw the small signal model let me take this over here because v in is zero over here okay let me just do it again uh, v in was equal to zero over here yeah so we have just now shown the small signal model of the circuit right in this we just make v in equal to zero and we apply the test source at the output that's what we do so this is what we what do we get we have applied the test source vx at the output we measure the current ix so vx upon ix will give us r out that is the output impedance of the circuit right so we have to determine r out looking into the drain terminal with respect to the ground so yeah when we make v in equal to 0 the circuit looks like this now fairly simple uh, gate terminal is grounded uh, resistor rs other terminal is grounded because v in is 0 then we have three sources i mean uh, two current sources and one resistance gmb gs ro gmb vbs and uh, the current flowing into the drain terminal is ix the current leaving the drain terminal and entering the source terminal is also ix now so uh, let us determine the small signal model of the circuit without rd so what we will do is we are determining the uh, you know the resistance rx first right so rx is looking into the uh, you know rx will be vx upon ix and then at the end we will include rd which will be in parallel right with rx so let us first find the value of rx from this network so we have to determine the relation between vx and ix okay so from this figure what can we write about vgs so your vgs voltage will be equal to uh, vg voltage is zero but what is vs voltage vs voltage is minus ix into rs so vx voltage will be minus ix into rx why because vg is zero and source voltage is uh, ix into rx so vgs will be minus ix into rs similarly what will be vbs uh, body voltage is zero and the source voltage is ix v, uh, I, ix into rs so your vbs also will be equal to minus ix into rs fine now um, yeah so what do what we are doing over here is we are excluding the load and determining the i mean the resistance looking into the drain terminal rx okay where vb is the bias voltage correct and then we will add the resistor rd and complete our r out fine so let us proceed further so now from this diagram uh, which you see over here we can write vx is equal to voltage vx is equal to we are applying kvl we can say vx is equal to ix rs 
plus R O into I X minus G M V G S minus G M V V B S. Okay, so the current flowing through R O will be equal to uh, your uh, I X is the flowing in the opposite direction in the flow, and G M uh, I mean um, the current flowing through R R O I X is in this direction from top to bottom, right? Leaving the terminal, and uh, there are two current sources also G M. Uh, VGS and GMB VBS, right? So when a current is leaving the node, it will be in opposite direction to the current source, right? So what do we have over here? A current flowing through RO will be IX minus GMB VGS minus GMB VBS. We have solved earlier one, uh, you know, similar analysis. That time the current was flowing inward. This time it is outward. That's why we have a minus sign, right? So VX is equal to IX RS. Plus R O into I X minus G M V G S minus G M V V B S. So instead of uh, V G S, we write minus I X R S. So this will become plus G M I R X. I'm sorry, R S I X. And here this will become plus G M V into R S into I X. So now our job is to separate out the terms of I X and V X. So I X we take it common, and uh, we will get the value of R X as one plus. GM plus GMB into RS, the whole into RO plus RS. So that's the value of RX, right? And uh, we can write it in this form also, right? Anyways, we'll do. And now, if you want to write R out, R out will be the parallel combination of RX and RD. So RX parallel to RD will give us the output impedance of the circuit given shown over here. Okay. So for the common gate amplifier with a source resistance, we are getting uh, that uh, output impedance will be given by expression number sixteen point one point five. Fine with it? Okay. Any doubts, anyone? You might have to practice these derivations before you know uh, studying them. You have to write it them on the paper, and then it will come to you very easily. So I think that will be all for this session. and in the next part of the video we will solve a numerical on a common gate amplifier so until then have a good day and thank you so that's all for today